Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and how long do you think it's gonna to take to copy that from that using that? Find out after the intro. Okay, so welcome back. Today we're gonna to be taking another look at the uh, Oracle 6629 US 3-C, which is a bit of a mouthful. Now this is a hard drive dock with built-in cloning feature. And I've done an unboxing and sort of a small review video of this already, which you can check out up here. But do be warned, it is pretty awful. It was a very early video and uh, I did have a cold. Oh, and the microphone stopped working. And the Surface Pro was overheating. But other than that, the video was great. So watch it if you like. Anyway, moving on. So I've had a few comments on, from that video, moving on saying you didn't do the full uh, clone of a hard drive, which was not gonna happen anyway because it would have taken too long, in excess of a few hours anyway. So what I thought I'd do is I'll revisit the, the, uh, the device and I have actually got a legitimate reason at the moment. My PC over here has been taken apart and I'm taking out the Kingston 120 gig drive and I'm gonna be replacing it with the SanDisk 240 gig I think or is it two yeah 240 gig so I'm doubling up on my space on my C drive I've got a two terabyte drive in there for games etc and videos and stuff so um, I thought I'd give this uh, Windows operating system a little bit more breathing room on the disk even saying that my Windows installation is only getting on for around about 30 gigs in total so it's not a massive installation by any means but hopefully it's going to give you an idea of how fast this thing is at copying so before I waffle on too far Let's get on with it and let's, uh, let's copy this drive and see how long it takes. So the first thing you do is obviously make sure it's connected up to the mains and you've got two uh, slots for hard drives. So you've got your source and your target. So the data on the drive needs to be in the source and your new drive or empty drive needs to be in your target. Pretty straightforward. And on the back, you basically got a clone or PC switch. So if you put it in PC mode, you can use it with the USB cable to transfer data across your disks like you would a drive caddy. Uh, but in clone mode, it works as a standalone device without any PC and it'll transfer data at very quick speeds, or at least we hope it will. Um, once you've got your disks in, you can turn on the power button on the back and then press the start button to start the process off. And then you get to watch the flashing LED lights on the front until it gets to 100% and it makes a bleeping noise. At least I think it does. We'll find out. I can't remember, it's been such a long time, it's over a year. Anyway, here we go. So, source drive, or Kingston 120. Now these are SATA three drives, so six gigabits per second total transfer speed or thereabouts. So one, and here is our destination drive, where all the data from there is gonna go onto here, hopefully, quickly. So there's our drives connected. So let's put some power on, put it into clean mode. So that's the device put into clean mode. So now what we've got to do is press start. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the stopwatch button on the phone. I'm gonna actually time how long this takes. So one, two, three, and Now we get to watch the lights. Now this could take a while, probably quite a few minutes. So in the meantime, do me a favor, click on the subscribe button. Uh, when you click on the subscribe button, also click on the chime icon next to the subscribe. So that way, whenever I make a new terrible video, you'll get notified straight to your inbox or from the pop-ups on the side of your Chrome or Edge browser. Anyway. I'm going to leave you with some music and you can watch the lights if you want and we'll fast forward it a little bit as well. See you in a bit.
Okay, so there we go. The telltale bleeps and the 100% marker and all the lights come on. So that tells us that the drive has been cloned. So that has taken five minutes and 47 seconds. Well, I round up five minutes, 48. So six minutes to copy roughly about 30 gigabytes of data from one drive to another. Now I can't do the maths of that in my head. Um, I should be able to, but I can't. So I'll probably have it as a pop up here somewhere. But basically, I think that's pretty quick. Six minutes to copy over 30 gigs of data over a dedicated bus. It's pretty good. I guess that must be getting on for... No, actually, I'm not even going to guess it. I'll put, I'll put it up on the screen after when I've worked it all out. But I think that's pretty cool. So that has answered the question of how quickly do these things transfer data. Uh, obviously, that's two, SSID, uh, two SSD drives, and they both transfer very fast. Uh, the data anyway but it just goes to show that there isn't any massive bottleneck on there obviously there is an overhead of the processor inside the little arco box which is uh, grabbing the data and throwing it to the other one now another question which somebody asked as well um, can you do the drive the other way around so a larger drive to a smaller drive well there's the answer to that is yes and no um, if you want to have more data obviously on a little drive that is impossible, you cannot do it. It won't shrink the data down to fit onto a drive. But if you've got, say for instance, um, a two terabyte drive and a one terabyte drive, and the data on the one terabyte, two terabyte drive is less than one terabyte, you can resize your partition in Windows to make it look as if it's a terabyte or less, in which case then you can transfer the data across. So as long as the device or partition that you're transferring or the disk as a whole looks like it's smaller than the destination, then that's absolutely fine, but you can't do it the other way around. So uh, that answers that question, hopefully. So anyway, I've been Mike. This has been the Oracle 6623 US-3, no, US-3-C, that's the one. Uh, I hope this has been in, uh, useful for you. If it has, give me a like, give me a thumbs up and all that good stuff and put some comments in the box below if there's anything else you want to know about this little device. Uh, see you again. Thanks for watching.